Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass. A lot of YouTubers use this mouse, so I thought I'd see what all the fuss is about. Today I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing and my first impressions of the Logitech MX Performance Mouse. For a long time now I've been using the Apple Magic mouse. Now don't get me wrong, it's not a bad mouse by any means and it's great for certain things, but for some reason it doesn't work in specific applications. It doesn't always recognize key presses in Photoshop, and also when I'm playing games like Minecraft on my Mac, it doesn't always recognize the right click on the mouse, which is definitely a bit of a disappointment, as I do enjoy using the mouse, it's very easy to use, attaches via Bluetooth and there's no hassle whatsoever. But it was time for an upgrade. Opening the box itself, which is held together by magnets, which is a really nice touch, the first thing that you're going to be granted with is the actual mouse itself. Now you're also going to be getting a unifying dongle, which I'm going to go into a bit more detail later on in the video. So once you've actually got the packaging open, the dongle and the mouse are going to come in one section. Below that, you are going to get some information regarding the mouse itself. You're going to get a quick start guide and also some information to download Logitech software to get the best out of your mouse in terms of customizing the buttons, which again is a really nice feature as I'm going to be using this mouse really quite a lot in Final Cut Pro and also Photoshop, so I want to have some customizable buttons at my fingertips. You're also going to get a micro USB cable which you can use to actually charge it as it does have a rechargeable battery so no worrying about having to carry around any batteries or anything like that and you can also plug it in and charge it and use it at the same time. Next up we're going to have that dongle that I mentioned. Now the great thing about this is it's Logitech's unifying dongle which basically means that if you get any other wireless accessories for instance a keyboard you're not going to have a separate dongle plugged into another one of your USB ports so it's definitely going to save on ports on your PC or laptop. Next up is the star of the show, the mouse itself. Now the great thing about this mouse is it is compatible with both Windows and Mac OS, but you have to be running Mac OS 10.5 or above, and also Windows 7 or above to actually use the mouse with those operating systems. Looking around the mouse, you can see that it does have a really nice design. There's some really nice textures, including the part where your thumb goes, it has a really nice rubberized dimple design. All you need to do is plug in the dongle to the side of your laptop, and you're pretty much ready to go. Now I haven't used the mouse all that much, but one thing that I would say is I edited this whole video using the Performance MX, and I have to say it is actually a great mouse, and it actually made me feel as though I was performing a lot better in Final Cut, just something about the way that the actual mouse works, the customizable buttons, and just in general the overall smoothness of the tracking. And that's pretty much going to do it guys. If you want me to do a follow up review, maybe in a month's time to give my overall thoughts and opinions of using the mouse more long term, then be sure to leave a comment down below or leave a thumbs up so I know that you guys want to see that content. If you've got any questions about the Logitech Performance MX, be sure to leave those down in the comments below. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe to Copper vs Glass for a lot more content like this. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass, thanks very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.